everyone this is the pre market report video for today 10th july 2023 in the new stock market in terms of nifty and bank nifty first quickly let's have a look at what happened on friday nifty opened a gap down of 75 points however with the support of reliance nifty reclaims and again hits the fresh all time high 19523 but the selling was severe due to the very bad global momentum just a recap on thursday night in us private company called adp released the addition of new employment in june month the data comes as that the employment was grown by 497000 against expectation of just 267000 it was a crazy strong jobs data which severely dented the global momentum and affected all the asian market in the friday morning so the selling was huge reliance alone can't support nifty for long time I mean Reliance was very positive because NCLT approves the demerger of Reliance Financial Service from Reliance Industries that positivity holds the Reliance in the positive side but in the afternoon Bank of America Securities released the report that Reliance Industries Q1 profit might drop due to the weakness in oil to chemical business this pushed the Reliance into the downside which in turn makes the Nifty drops and close to below 19350 45 out of nifty 50 stocks closed in negative only 5 tata motors titan m and m sbi life insurance and cipla closed positive all others were down even after all this negativity fis were still buyers on friday its da was the culprit fis net bought shares worth approximately 790 crore rupees while dis net sold shares worth approximately 2965 crore rupees now let's discuss the us market Before their market opening on Friday, US Bureau of Labor Statistics released a report about the non-farm payrolls data. Here please note on Thursday night the confusion was created by the report released by private firm called ADP. Now on Friday, US government itself released the stats about the number of new jobs other than farming sector that added in June month. Now coming to data For June month it increased only by just 2,9000 which was slightly below the expectation of 2,25000 and way below the May month's over 3 lakhs new job. This is good. The reason is the data was not crazy high like the private ADP report which is near 5 lakh new jobs since this can make the Fed people less worry and they won't increase the interest rate aggressively. However it is significantly low as it was the lowest number of jobs added in the last 2 years now this may increase the fear of recession anyway so because of this bad jobs data for most of the time S&P 500 was traded in the positive side but in the last 20 minutes US clothing brand Levi's earnings warning triggered the profit booking and made the S&P 500 to close marginally negative I mean year to date S&P 500 increased over 15% in comparison year to date Nifty increased just a little over 6%. So it's kind of understandable since from this week onwards it's not just for Indian market for US market also it's result season. In addition coming Wednesday US June month inflation number is scheduled to release. At the end of the day Dow Jones down by 0.55% S&P 500 decreased by 0.29% and Nasdaq to marginal negative 0.13%. Regarding VIX surprisingly despite the negative close from over 15.5 on Thursday Nifty it drops below to less than 15. Along with all these US Labor Department released the unemployment rate which comes as 3.6% and it was in line with the expectation so there was no drama there. coming to indian areas it's all down but not as much as it was in the indian market i mean earlier on friday in indian market infosys hdfc bank and icic bank all were down by over 1% however in us market all of them were down by just less than 0.5% so these areas numbers i don't consider it showing negative today since it's not Moving on about gift nifty on saturday morning it closed at 19458 as usual equity to over spot market shows that nifty to open positive or gap up of 50 to 60 points so that's all about the global market now coming to indian market first about the monsoon it's partial good news and partial not so good news first the partial good news from over 10% deficit now monsoon as a cumulative for whole country it's 2% surplus now the not so positive info though the monsoon was surplus it was very uneven 
I mean North India got 59% excess rainfall and Central India too got 2% excess. Whereas Eastern and Northeastern region has recorded a deficiency of 17%. In case of South, the rainfall deficiency has reduced from 45% to 23%. So basically it's very mixed in addition according to agriculture ministry farmers have planted 9% less crop compared to a year ago due to the expectation of delay in monsoon so all these were more of a negative for fmcg moving on regarding stock specific during the weekend there are a lot of positive info about reliance first management announced that july 20th will be the record date for reliance financial service demerger share allotment Second, as per Rogers, Reliance requested EY, British law company, and BDO, a Belgium accounting company, to value the Reliance retail business. Both of them valued 96 and 92 billion US dollars respectively. And based on this, Reliance announced the payout of 1,362 rupees per share Reliance retail for all the liquidity that it is in the grey market. Now, all the analysts and investors were speculating that this move is the first step to demerge the Reliance retail in the future. So, in the GDR, Reliance industry increased over 2%. As a summary, US market closed to negative, but global momentum is improved and more of positive as well. Even SGX Nifty indicating gap up opening of 50 to 60 points. However, there is an increase in tension and conflict in Euro pressure issue. So, that might able to turn the global momentum bad. About the things to look out, first, before the market opening, Chinese inflation data is due and in the night, lot of FOMC member speech are scheduled. In addition, Rogers is going to release what consumer inflation number that we can expect for June month. Again, the official government data is due on Wednesday. In terms of technical, on daily chart, Nifty forms a medium red candle with a long upper and short lower shadow and Nifty closed lower for the first time in the last two weeks but still took the support at 19,300 and it makes a higher high formation. Technically, this pattern indicates rejection of buyers at the new highs. This could also be considered as short term top reversal pattern. So, on the daily chart, Nifty could not continue with the positive momentum and also Nifty breached 5 days exponential moving average support in Friday session. This is clearly a weakness and consolidation phase. Thus, the Fibonacci retracement around 90,200 to 90,180 will be the crucial zone for short term perspective and on the upside, 19,520 to 90,550 might be the huge hurdle zone. However, on the daily momentum indicator, it's in a positive crossover. So this dip might or can be bought into as well. In case of Bank Nifty, it experienced selling pressure from the sellers leads to a correction for throughout the day. This apparent movement by the sellers suggests a potential reversal in the trend. Bank Nifty broke below the support of 45,000 also indicates the shift in the trend. However, a follow-up action is required to confirm and sustain the downward momentum. If it manages to sustain below 45,000 on a closing basis, it is likely to continue its downward momentum towards the levels of 44,500 and 44,200. Moving on, based on option change in open interest, some number of put options were unwound between 19,450 and 19,500. Huge number of nearby call options were added at above 90,400. The maximum new nearby call options added at 90,400. So 90,400 is the immediate resistance to break. So based on the opening, 90,500 is the next to strong resistance. Then from overall options open interest data, 90,400 got the maximum put options followed by 90,300 and 90,200. Since 19,400 is the short straddle, thus 19,300 is the immediate support to look out and 90,200 is the strong support. Then coming to Bank Nifty, based on overall options open interest data, significant short straddle is at 45,000. Then the next nearby maximum call option open interest is present at 45,300. So 45,300 is the resistance to break. Regarding put option open interest, 44,700 is the next nearby maximum put option without call options. Thus 44,700 is the immediate support. So that's all in this video. Hope you all got some useful information. Please consider subscribing to the channel and liking the video so it will help me beat the YouTube algorithm and will also motivate me to do more. Please don't make any investigation based on this as I am not a SEBI registered advisor. I am doing this for my and viewers educational purpose only. Thanks for watching.